Hi, my name is Paul, and today I want to address a question involving the mass defect and particularly the amount of energy that's released in a classic fission type of reaction. So nuclear fission, of course, is where you have a large atom that breaks up into two smaller atoms and the combined mass after the fission event is less than the combined mass afterwards. We lose mass and therefore we have energy being released by way of E equals mc squared. But that normally doesn't happen spontaneously. Usually it's because of a neutron is fired into it. So the example we're going to use is uranium-235 basically encounters a neutron and then splits up into two daughter type of nuclei. Now, in this particular example, the two daughter nuclei are barium-144 and krypton-90. But we also get two neutrons fired off as well. And in order to work out the mass defect and therefore the energy, we need to know the masses. And the masses are given in what we would call as the universal atomic mass units. So the mass of the uranium-235 is equal to 235.044 U. The barium-144 has a mass of 137.33 U. The krypton has a mass of 89.92 U. Uh, what about the neutron? Well, the neutron has a mass of 1.0087 U. So if you look very carefully, we have a definitely a reduction of mass. Well, how much? Well, we simply work out the difference. And that's simply the initial minus the final. So all we need to do is say, well, we've got 235.044 plus my neutron, which is 1.0087, subtract everything afterwards, which is 137.33 plus my 89.92 plus now two neutrons, of course, so two times 1.0087. And when you calculate that out, you're going to get an answer of 6.8753 U or atomic mass units. Now, now, there's two ways you can solve out the amount of energy. You can go the long way or you can go the short way. What is the long way? Well, that's in U. So what you could do and say, well, hold on, let's convert first the U to kilograms, right? And then what I can use is I can then say, well, I'm going to apply that E equals MC squared because the mass is in kilograms. It's the SI unit. That will give me the energy in joules. And then I can convert the joules down back to electron volts or mega electron volts by doing the conversion of joules to electron volts, which is 1.6 by 10 to the negative 19 joules. That's the long way. You don't have to do that. And the fact is, is that if you have an atomic mass unit of 1U, that mass is equivalent to 931.5 mega electron volts per C squared. Now I did a video on atomic mass units and this is just another non-SI units that particle physicists use basically to determine, to describe mass. They often drop the C squared in discussing it, but in mass. But the reason why we describe this is, is that that allows us to very quickly convert this to the energy value. In other words, if I have a mass of 931.5 mega electron volts per C squared, and I convert that into energy, because mass and energy are equivalent by E equals MC squared, then I get 931.5 mega electron volts. So in other words, I can just simply drop the C squared off. So since 1U equals that, the energy we're interested in is equal to my 6.8753 multiplied by my 931.5 and I get a grand total of 6320.5 mega electron volts or you could say 6.32 giga electron volts because we've got another thousand there. So that is how you do a mass defect energy problem in this case with a nuclear reaction. I hope that has helped you. Please like, share and subscribe. Put a comment down below if it's been helpful for you. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care and bye for now.